Hey guys, um, I literally just got out of the shower. I'm super excited. Apple TV just released the first official Wandla trailer for the new show that's coming out, and I'm gonna do a live reaction. Okay, let's go. This is me, Eva. And this is Mother. I was raised underground in a bunker. The earth was sick and needed time to heal without us. Now, after years of training, I am finally ready to meet other humans. What's on the other side of this? I heard information on restricted areas. Okay, her costume is a lot different than in the illustrations in the book, but I don't hate it. Um, it's definitely like, if I didn't have an illustration to base off of, I would like this costume completely fine. It's no big deal. Um, I like how simple it is. It looks like she was raised underground and this is all the clothes that she has. This is my this is my third time seeing the trailer since it came out four hours ago. The Wandla. Um not a fan of this design. It's supposed to be the cover of the wonderful Wizard of Oz, um, like broken up and composited into a new thing. It looks like a sheet of paper. It it's not very imaginative, like the original Wandla was in the illustrations, like I said, but, um, it's little, it's something small, I can get over it. Is someone... Also that Wandla did not say Eva find me in the book, but we need to move the plot along. We can't like have everything in the book be in the, in the show. So I'm not worried about it. One thing I love is that Terry Hatcher is the person who is voicing Mother in the show, and Terry Hatcher also did the audiobook for Wandla, which is so good. Her voice acting is amazing, and I like how she has so much depth and emotion in her voice for this character who is a robot that is synthesizing human emotions and learning based on its surroundings and not just off of a preset list of rules or situations so i really like her voice acting and i'm really happy that she's going to be voice acting mother in the show as well oh. the rings of warpana she is a human okay someone had a little too much to um the halcyonis look really different in this compared to what I thought, but I can still identify them as the Halcyonis. It's weird, they look like they have fur, and I'm pretty sure the Halcyonis are more like fish than um, mammals, like the Ceruleans are, but once again, they might. I could just be overreacting, so who knows. I haven't seen women for a long time. If this is Earth, what happened? And where is the humans oh my. okay that the first one the first um rcn that we saw was arius i think the soothsayer and the second one was zin who is the curator of the um royal museum of solace they both look amazing i was worried about the character design when i saw mother being way more simplified than she was in the book but the rcns look really really good so far from these clips that i've seen and also bastille is right here and he looks really good too. Cannot be so bold. The pillar guards look perfect. They look exactly like they do in the book. I really, I really like their design. What if I'm alone? What if I'm
this um, logo is beautiful. Okay, perfect. That was phenomenal. Um, so let's just go over a couple things. So Eva is um, white in the book and in the TV show she's not. And she's also 12 in the book, 12 and 13, and she's 16 in this show. Um, not really worried about it. My only concern is that I think it's implied that Eva is a clone of Cadmus in um, the series. And I hope that Cadmus, if they go that route, is the same ethnicity as Eva appears to be. Um, I think this is, the design for her is really good. I kind of miss her signature kind of braided um, hair with, she likes to braid um, plants and seed pods and stuff into her hair, which I think nothing, I mean, there's nothing to say that they won't add that in the second series. I think there's probably going to be three series because there's three books. Yeah, her design is great. The mother design is a little too simple for me, but it's also a little more modern than it was in 2010. And it's been 14 years since 2010, so we can expect that some things will be streamlined and modernized. Not everything can be perfect. Another thing they added for Mother is that in the book, she has stickers all over her base. And in, um, in the show, it looks like she has a drawing of her and Eva, which is really sweet looking. I like that a lot. I also love that you can see the Dynasties Corporation logo. It looks really cool. I don't know if it matches the one in the book. I don't know if I recognize that, but um, it looks really cool. It looks very like, it looks like something branded. It looks almost like an Apple logo, something very streamlined and simple that could be from any time period. I also love that it seems like the holography chamber isn't just holograms, it's hard light because she's seen standing on something and then falling down to the ground. I think that's interesting. I kind of hope they open with her getting bitten by a snake like it does in the book. It also looks like her Omnipod is part of her uniform and not a handheld device. In book two, it shows that um, some people in the human city do have Omnipods implanted into their hand instead of holding a handheld device. So it might just be mixing the two and cutting out a middleman. Love that she escapes at a bench shop just like in the book. It looks like the RCNs are a lot bigger, it seems, than they were um, proportionally in the book, but not. it doesn't look crazy. They look like aliens. Um, the design is really good. Oh, the RCNs also, also only have two fingers and a thumb, which is just like in the book. I like that. This could either be Zinn or Arius. This character has fuzz and a pointed hat, which is what Zinn wore in the book. I could be wrong about who this is. Okay, so I will say, um, I had my doubts about my favorite series being turned into a TV series with creative freedom and things like that that can go haywire really quickly, but I think that despite the obvious creative freedom that Skydance and Apple TV took with this show, I think it looks really good. I think I'm going to love it. I hope they release it on DVD or Blu-ray because I would love to have a physical copy of this. I'm super excited to watch it. It already has um, almost 14,000 views, which I'm excited for. I hope this, I hope this show starts like a Wandla renaissance because I've been on the Wandla train since like 2012. I started reading it right before, I think a year before the Battle for Wendla came out, and now I've read it probably 15 times. I have read it twice just this year. So my main takeaway is that I'm super excited. Maybe I can do episode reviews when it comes out. I don't know if it's going to be episodic week by week or if they're going to release it all at once. I hope they release it all at once, but week by week would also be cool. This is a great way to get me to subscribe to Apple TV+. Plus. I'll tell you that right now. I'm excited to watch this with my family and see what happens. And if this is episodic week by week, I will definitely be doing episode reviews every week. Okay, yeah, so that was my first reaction to the Wandla Apple TV Plus trailer. Um, thanks for watching. Watch some of my other videos. And peace, y'all.